Hello everyone, welcome to our third and last NEA Big Read coding session. I'm Nilu from OC Public Libraries. Today we are going to learn how to create a game with variables such as scores. Open your browser and Google Scratch. Sign in with your username and password. Those who joined us today for the first time, you can create your own free account by clicking on Join Scratch. All you have to do is create a username and password. At the top of your homepage, click on Create. Let's start with our backdrop. Our theme is winter, so choose Arctic. Now let's delete the default sprite and choose a penguin. You can click on add sprite, click on animal category in order to find the penguin very quickly. Go back to add sprite and click on food category Click on hard candy that says coded. Click on add sprite again and in the search box at the very top, um, type snow and choose a snowflake. These sprites are too big. We can change their sizes and make them smaller by simply erase 100 and add another number, right? 30 or 25. Now, let's start with our first sprite, the penguin. First thing is to grab the start block, which is when green flag clicked under event group. From variables, make a new variable. You can name the variable whatever you want, like score or point or however you decide to name your variable. And as you can see, if you click on show variable, another variable will show up. And in order to delete that one, all you have to do is click on hide variable. And it's gone. From variable, drag set my variable to zero and change my variable to score. From control, drag forever block. From motion group, drag point towards mouse pointer and leave it as it is. This uh, code tells the penguin to follow the mouse pointer. And from the motion, drag move 10 steps and change 10 to 2. If you leave um, the code as 10, the penguin will move super fast. Now let's code our heart candy. First thing is to drag when green flag clicked. Remember, this is a start key for all the sprites. Otherwise, they wouldn't move, no matter how many code you write for them. From looks, drag show. From control, drag forever. From control drag if then. From sensing drag touching mouse pointer question mark and change mouse pointer to penguin. From variables, drag change my variable by one and change the variable to my score or score. From looks, drag hide. Now we are going to duplicate the coded hard candy. 
till we get about 14 of them. If you use Windows, simply right click on the candy in the sprite pane and choose duplicate. If you are a Mac user, hold Control and click on Sprite in the Sprite pane and choose Duplicate. Keep do the same procedure until you have total 12 candies. All the codes that you wrote for the first candy will be copied for the duplicate one. So you don't have to write all the codes over and over for 12 or 14 times. Now you can move your um, hard candies to different positions so the penguin just walk towards them and stuff like going all over your page. Now, if I want my penguin to stay straight, to be upright, all I have to do is change the direction. Now it's time to code the snowflake. From events, drag when green flag clicked. From looks, drag hide. From control, drag wait one second and erase one. From operators, drag pick random one to ten and drag um, to wait and change 10 to 3. From motion, drag go to X and Y and delete the variable in front of um, X and Y. For X variable, drag pick random 1 to 10 from operators and place it in front of X. Change the uh, numbers inside of the operators to negative 220 and change 10 to positive 220. For the variable in front of the uh, Y, write 194. From looks, drag show. From control, drag repeat until. Operators, drag less than 50. From motion, drag Y position and change 50 to negative 190. Motion, drag, change Y by 10 and change 10 to negative 5. This way your snowflake will drop down and it's not go um, up because it's negative.
Now let's duplicate our snowflake. Again, if you are a Windows user, all you have to do is right click on your snowflake sprite and then click on duplicate. If you are a Mac user, hold down control and click on the sprite and choose duplicate. You can duplicate up to 10, 20, or how many snowflake you would like to have. Okay, now you can maximize your um, screen and click the green flag and watch your game. Your penguin will follow your mouse pointer. Remember that we coded that way. That was our last big grid coding session. Thank you for watching.